Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in astronomy, science, and telescope. At least, I hope one of them. Let me show you another telescope adapter that you guys might want to look at. Okay, this is a Vixen dovetail. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so I got another adapter from AliExpress and this is under the name Angelus. Yes, like Angelus, my fiance. So now I showed you a similar video before and that was if you have a Vixen mount and you want to adapt a duo like Laws Mandy's Vixen head. Well, this is kind of like the reverse. What if you have an older mount that doesn't have a Vixen mount at all, okay? And uh, you want to get one of these. Now this measures, just so you guys can see, about three and a half inches, and then about three and a half inches that way squared. The knobs are nice. Now there are smaller ones of these that just have one knob. They're more like for the finder scope, guiding scope type of bracket. So this one is more for a telescope with the two thumb screws. Uh, so take that into consideration. There are smaller version of these, but this one's a full three and a half by three and a half, not including the size of the thumb screws. And they're a good size. They're not too close, so it's easy to open and close them. They have brass where it squeezes onto the Vixen plate. It's brass. On the side here, they have different type of um, screws that you can put. I'm not exactly sure for what. Maybe a finder scope or maybe some other attachments. And then underneath, it has a lot of different holes for you to mount it on, on stuff. Uh, you could also do this if you have a, a tripod like a regular camera dhlr camera tripod doesn't have a vixen head and you want to add you can usually find this around 20 to 25 dollars and then they're shipping but uh, i got this one i believe was 45 with the shipping so and it's nice and thick it's not flimsy um you know what i mean so the sidewall here is about an inch thick and then where the vixen plate goes uh, looks like it's about half an inch so it's i think it's really well made um, even some of those tabletop dobsons uh, sometimes have that or az mounts sometimes will have that so if you have an older mount and you're looking for something like this you know it's not that expensive okay so let me show you what kind of mount would not have it and how you would apply it so let's get to it Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you first what is a Vixen mount and why they're so popular, uh, probably starting at least uh, 15 to 20 years ago. So a Vixen head, you know what, let me get you closer. Okay, so this is a Vixen head here. And what you do, it just slides on there and then you tighten it and then this is your safety. So you could just literally take off the telescope and rings complete in a matter of seconds. I am actually gonna show you how easy it is to mount on this type of mount, two different scopes, okay? So let's say for instance, you have any type of telescope. It doesn't have to be a refractor, it could be a reflecting telescope, it could be uh, whatever, whatever. If it has already a Vixen uh, dovetail here, you just slide it in here, so tighten this screw, the main thicker screw, and then the Silver one is for safety, and that's it, it's done. Now, again, to take it off, take off the safety. Boom. Literally, it takes five to six seconds. Okay, let's try with something a little bit bigger. An eight inch SCT. Okay, forget about this up here for now. And then it has a Vixen dovetail in the bottom. Again, you just slide it down, whatever 
halfway, the middle, like wherever the balance point is, tighten the main nut, then the safety, boom, it's done. Okay, take it off, is the exact opposite. Just takes a few seconds. Now, let me show you what are the older mounts that did not have this Vixen head. Okay, so here I have, this is an older CG4, or sometimes called the EQ3, dash two or EQ3, and this does not have a Vixen head, okay? Um, I actually made a video about what the difference between the older generation EQ4 versus the newer generation like CG4. And so if you haven't seen that video, just look it up on my YouTube channel and then you'll find it and you'll see what the couple minor differences are. Okay, but let me get you closer and show you what the difference is. Okay, so as you can see, there's no nuts, there's no bolts holding it down. So what you have to do is you, you have to put your rings on here, one here, one here, and then you uh, screw it from underneath and tighten it. And then you can open your rings, put your telescope, close it, and then with the thumb screws. There you go. But let's say you want to take off like I did a second telescope. Now you gotta loosen the rings, open the rings, take out the telescope, put it away. Then the rings are still stuck to here on these two areas there. Now you have to unscrew one ring, unscrew the other ring, then put on, let's say a different size telescope, put on those rings, screw it on here, screw it on there, and then open the rings and put the other telescope. Do you see how much longer that would be? Okay, so besides that, that's mainly it. So these older mounts, okay, the rings would be stuck on here. And if you only had one telescope, one mount, then it's not too bad. But let's say you had a small telescope, and a big telescope or a refractor and an SCT or a reflecting telescope, so much longer. This is actually a very good quality. This is a Vixen Japan made Super Polaris. And again, same thing. So it came with a plate and then you put the rings on and then put your telescope, which is okay, but it's just not like quick release. So I wonder if this would also be handy. Now the holes are not matching to this particular one. Uh, the best is probably put a plate uh, on there as well, and then you bolt it, and then you put this on top. Probably would be the best bet. Okay guys, so that's what it looks like with that plate off, and it doesn't really help any. Put that guy back, of course screw it down, and get a plywood that big, or a plate, and then screw the that the plywood to these two holes and then that can go on top and then you can screw from underneath and have a bolt or down whichever way and then bolt it to that would probably be the best okay guys so i still have a piece of that uh three quarter inch plywood where a year and a half ago i rebuilt my 12 inch dobson base so i took this off the head and I'm just going to trace it and then I'm just going to cut it out with my jigsaw. Okay there's my template. Okay guys so we are in the next step which is now I'm going to trace this out on my jigsaw and that's it. Okay, I got the general shape here. I just have to do a couple little cuts and then we're done. Okay, so this is what my Vixen top plate should look like. I'm going to sand it down, make it smooth, actually get rid of some of these hard corners and round them out a little tiny bit. Drill the holes for the top and bottom. We'll be back. This is what happens when you use a cheap sandpaper. But it did do the trick. 
I'm just gonna get another cheap sandpaper because I forgot my good sandpaper. It's not with me right now, so I'm gonna have to use what I have. Okay. Even though this is a cheap sandpaper, it's doing the job, so I'm just gonna do it one more time. Try to get it nice and smooth, but again, it's just a plate to hold that adapter. It's not a big deal. Okay, that looks like it's pretty much perfect. Yeah. Okay, so I took a drill bit and I went to see what is the size of that and I have the exact size. So now I am going to, that looks perfect. I just give it a little drill from underneath. So I know it might be easier this way on its side and just do a little bit on this side. Okay, now I know where my markings are. All right, let's make the holes. Okay, here we go. So we've got the two holes done. Okay, so what I would like to also do is measure this circle part because that's where I'm gonna want the bolts. So I'm gonna have two bolts holding down, of course, on, on these, this part, but I wanna know the middle part so I could have four bolts, even five. I wanna kinda know how big this circle is. Okay, right there. So it says 53.99 millimeters, which is 2.9 inches. So I basically just found a nut. It goes, I don't know if you can see that, about an inch and an eighth uh, more underneath. And then I'll put washers on the top and bottom. I don't have a protractor and that's actually what I need. It's not the proper way how to do it, but I don't have a protractor right now, and this will be fine for now. Then once I got these guys nice and tight, I think I'll put the, the thumb screws on this side, because over here there's a, not sure if you guys can see that, there's a plate, so I don't want to put it there. Take these back out, drill some holes there. Yeah, I'll put it downwards. So I'll have to do that first. Attach this guy to here. Uh, I think I'll go downwards because I don't want the screws or nuts popping up. So it's gonna have to be the other way, but it's about an inch drop or hole here. So as long as the nut is nice, this is nice and tight, then I can lock it in there. That's how it will be done. And then I can use a Vixen type rail. Okay, so I found that one and a quarter is good. So when I put this here, it does not hit. So there's the dry fit. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks pretty good and it looks like it matches. Okay, I'm just gonna spray paint one side at a time. Okay, so it had time to dry overnight. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is put this on here and then after bolt it down to the mount put two big bolts and nuts in here and these ones are kind of like smaller uh, but it does fit so that's how it is let's go try it on this is nice and tight to the wood and now let's see Okay guys, so here we go. Let's put this scope on here. Okay, so here we go. So we have the original non-vixen plate. I made a three quarter inch plywood to match it, sanded it down. Then I attached this to the plywood and then the plywood to the plate. And now we have a rock solid vixen plate. Let's look at the other side. And here's the thumb screws. So there we go. Okay guys, so that's how you can make a non-Vixen, the older mount, just by attaching that, getting either a plate 
or making one out of wood like I did. And there you go. It's nice as the red color matches the red thumb screws here. And uh, there we go. Anyway, guys, hopefully that uh, helps some of you guys out. For you guys that already knew that stuff, that's great. Uh, you just come in the journey with me then. And um, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys know anybody getting in the hobby, share my channel. If you guys are on the forums and maybe somebody's asked a question like this, how to convert something over, um, share my link if you like. I do have members videos now, which means once a month I put up a video just for the members, not for the regular public. And that costs 99 cents. I also put your name on the description. Anyway, guys, why not you? Why not me?